Hey everyone, we've been having a fantastic time with Metaphor Refantasio and we can make it even better on the Steam Deck thanks to a nice little easy to install mod. As you can see, the left image is the modded version here with it looking much smoother as well as that full 12 by 10. And also I'm going to cover how to fix an issue if you didn't get the saved data from the demo being transferred over. I'll cover both of those in just a minute, but just so you can see the difference here a bit clearer, we're just going to have a bit of a further look at the difference with the mod version here. As you can see, we get the full 12 by 10. And I actually find this much smoother moving around just in general with it looking just as good, if not slightly better, and also getting a little bit better frames per second, as well as a little bit less on that wattage. It's hard to tell, especially moving around town, as some sections do just show higher FPS anyway, but the longer you seem to spend in town without the mod version, the lower the FPS seems to get, with it rendering characters in and out. But in dungeons, you can see the difference here. It's barely any graphical difference at all. If anything, the left version looks a little bit better, and we get that full 12 by 10 and you see that actually we get 60 frames per second a lot more of the time, meaning we're going to get that fluid motion as much as possible. Whereas if we look back at the 16 by 9 version, even when we've not got a load of effects going on, we're already under that 60 and below 50 a lot of the time. So to install this mod is very simple. All you need to do is switch over to desktop mode, open your favorite browser and go to Nexus Mods and look for the mod called Metaphor Fix. I'll leave a link in the description below to the exact mod for you. You will need an account for Nexus Mods, but it's a free account. So you just make sure you sign up. There's lots of mods that we can get your hands on, so it's well worth it. Just do the manual slow download. It's not a huge file. It's only 637 bytes, so it won't take long at all. And then put that in your downloads folder and open it up ready. You see that we've only got four files that we actually need to worry about here. And these go to the game folder, which is very easy to get to. All we need to do is open up our Steam library, find the Metaphor Refantasio game, and then under the settings icon, we're just going to go to manage and then browse local files. This will open up the game directory where we need to drop in those files. So then we open up the archive and just drag all of those files over except for the extract the game folder file, which is just obviously telling you where they go. This won't have anything to overwrite because there isn't anything there. If you do have some other mods installed, then follow the extra instructions on the Nexus mods page as it has got some workarounds in there. Now you'll see that this also has some extra additions like intro skip. This is enabled for the logos by default, but I've also turned on the skip movie. So just change that to true. This means that when you start the game up, it'll go straight to the main menu, saving all that time and a few clicks. If you are in and out of the game, it just makes life so much easier. And you'll see just how quick the game loads up when you have that in. There are other fixes in here as well. If you want to disable camera shake and as well as the black outlines and other bits and pieces, but by default, fixed resolution is set to true with aspect ratio. So just double check that, which is what will fix the 12 by 10 ratio. And obviously save that before you exit. Now, before you run it, there is a command that we need to put into the command argument. So on the Nexus mods page, just scroll down to this additional instruction section, copy everything between the speech marks. Do not copy the speech marks. Then open your Steam library again, and then under Metaphor Refantasio, under Properties, under that Settings cog, we want to add in the copied section into Launch Options under the General section. So again, just make sure there isn't a speech mark at the beginning and end of this line, and then run the game. You'll know, obviously, straight away whether this has worked, because it should skip all of the logos. This is real time, straight to the main menu. I didn't do any skipping or fast forwarding there. That's just how fast it loads with those skips enabled. Okay, that will get you running with the much better frame rates and with the full 12 by 10 ratio with no issues. All you need to do now is log out and that will take you back to game mode where you can enjoy your game. Now, for those that had issues with the save game transferring, uh, I'm going to cover that next. Unfortunately, it isn't in the game directory, which is a little bit more fiddly. However, 
there is a command that you can run to do this very quickly. And I'll put that command in the description below where you can open up the console from the start menu, paste in this command and hit enter. And as long as you have the demo folder still installed, this will show and copy and you'll be able to then skip to the last section to make sure that it imports that save game when you start new game. If for whatever reason that doesn't work or you just want to do it manually, then you will need to go to your Dolphin Explorer and then under home.steam, steam, scroll down to steam apps, compact data, and then you want to find the ID of the demo, which is 31303330. So you can manually look for it in that folder or just do a search, which is what I normally do. And then under the PFX folder, drive C, users, Steam user, application data, Sega, Metaphor, Steam, and then this random numbered folder. This is where all your save games files should be from the demo. So just highlight all of these apart from the DB folder or just pick the save files that you want to copy over and hit copy. Now you want to open a new tab to go to the new game folder. Obviously, if you don't still have those demo saves, you can re-download the demo and just run it to get the cloud sync to make sure they're there. But if you have just uninstalled the game, that save files might not be there because it does remove the compact folder now. So for the actual game folder, again, we want to go to home, deck, dot steam, steam, steam apps, compact data, and then this time we want the live app folder, which is 2679460. And then we want to go into there under the PFX folder, drive C, users, Steam user, application data, Sega, metaphor, Steam, and then the random number folder, and just paste in those save files. Now, if you do have other save files in here, don't threat, because these are called save underscore demo, so they won't overwrite existing saves. But if you do want to bring these over, then obviously you can paste those in. Now to actually import the saves, it doesn't give you the load data option straight away, but if you now go and run the game, you can either start a new game or hit the load game if you already have save files, and you should get a new pop-up asking you to import those save files. Now for new games, it only does it if you press new game, so don't worry that load game isn't highlighted. And then when you hit new game, you should get this prompt that says save data from the demo version games found fetch the data, they say yes, and then the game will tell you that it's done and it will restart when you press confirm. And then you can load the data from the load game section. There you go, hopefully you now have a much more efficient game as well as all your save data over from the demo and you can enjoy Metaphor Refantasio in all its glory on the Steam Deck. Let us know in the comments below how you got on or how far you are in the game already. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.